What's up, Trade Hackers? Happy Wednesday. Today is February 12th. Welcome to today's Trade Hacker update. Speaking of Trade Hackers, I know most of you are already in here, but if you're not and you are interested in taking a look at an amazing trading community, look no further than the Trade Hacker community. Just go to community.navigationtrading.com. This is our official platform to communicate. And we've got people in here making trade suggestions. We're in here answering questions all the time. People are posting trade ideas. It's just a great, great group of people, great community. So if you have any interest in checking that out, just community.navigationtrading.com. And with that, let's jump into the update. So market's up again today. No surprise. S&P's up 18, Dow up 236, NASDAQ up over 75, Russell up over 11 points. And we've still got uh, about 40 minutes to go before the market closes. But I mean, this, this march just continues. I mean, what a crazy ride to the upside this has been. And think about this. This is all in the face of some pretty nasty news going on. You know, it used to be when you heard bad news, the market went down. <laughs> you heard good news, the market went up. And and actually what what we've seen over the last 20 years is, you know, when you see these rallies like this, then they're just shaking off all the bad news. That's a sign of a very strong market, obviously. I'm not saying anything uh, earth shattering there, but, but one thing to kind of look for if we do turn around and actually start to go down at some point is what you're probably going to see is good news coming out and the market falling. You know, we saw, we actually saw that this day here last week on this red day here where we had a tremendous jobs report came out and the market failed, you know, it went down. And I took notice of that because a lot of times when that happens and when you see kind of a change of the guard, you will see the market start to fall on good news. You know, right now it's just, it's rallying on basically any news. If it's good news, it rips higher. If it's bad news, it still goes up a little bit. And so be cautious of this because this rally is not going to last forever. And what you'll see is when it does change, when the sentiment truly changes, when the trend truly tra changes, you will start to see different reports come out that should be considered good news. And you're going to see the markets react to the downside. So Definitely not happening yet, but just a little warning of, of what will come at some point. So what else is moving here today? I've been talking about energy, so and we've got some positions of both nat gas and oil. Oil finally making a bounce, up 3% today. Nat gas up almost 3.5%. So if we take a look at a chart of oil, you can see since that missile issue with Iran, where it spiked up and then came back down, it's just been on this slide, but getting a nice little bounce today, which is helping our position. And same thing with Natty Gas. Natty Gas been on a horrific slide, but getting a little bounce the last couple of days, which is definitely welcome. What else? Earnings. So Shopify, our friend Shopify, which has been on fire to the upside, had earnings last night and shot up. So the, I, I marked the chart here with this little expected move. That was the expected. It was about $38, I think, from the close. So opened right here, looked like it was going to take off and then kind of reverse, but it's coming right back down to that expected move level. Now, a couple things. Before earnings, we put on an iron duck. So we had no risk to the upside. In fact, we're in the profit here and anywhere to the upside. And we've got, can't remember where our break even is to the downside, but somewhere probably down here. I can go all the way down here and we could potentially get max profit if it does drop. But most likely going to collect that beak profit and uh, happy with that. After the earnings announcement came out, and actually they announced this morning before the market opened. And so, Anytime you see a move like this well beyond the expected move, typically what happens is you see prices stabilize to grind higher. Sometimes they shoot higher. But I'm looking for this kind of expected move level to hold. And so we've we've put on some positions today to reflect that. We teach this step by step exactly how to do this in our earnings course. So look for Shopify to kind of stabilize here and potentially turn back up to the upside. What else? Oh, earnings tomorrow or after the after the market closes today, we've got AMAT, A M A T. And I didn't I didn't put on a trade here. You got great options, good liquid options. I just didn't really find anything I wanted there. The other one, NTAP, N T A P, also announcing after the bell today. 
And then the, the other big one is Alibaba, B-A-B-A. And I was looking for an iron duck opportunity here. It's a nice high price stock, but I just, I didn't like the risk reward I was getting based on the options. It would be really nice if all of these options came out with dollar wide strikes, but you know, these 250 wide strikes sometimes just don't play out the way we want it to. So as far as setting up a trade, so nothing in Baba either, but they are announcing. So we look for those. And again, you know, if they, if they spike higher, you know, for example, Baba has an expected move of 10 bucks. And so if price opens up higher than $10, higher than where it closes today, look for kind of steady to higher prices after the announcement. So we'll be, we'll be paying attention to those. And then lastly, taking a look at some of these other stocks, AMBA up another 7%. It was up big yesterday and then up big today. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what this company does. Umbrella, I guess is the name of the company, but I'm not sure what they do. I haven't, I, I know I've traded it before. It's on my watch list, but I, I don't even know what they do, but something is triggering that to the upside. So up big there, Alibaba's up three and a half percent today. Let's see what else is moving big. I think that was about it. Uh, Macy's up 4%. Micron Technology up 4%. And United Healthcare up a decent amount, over 4%. And Win up almost 4%. So those are the big movers of the day. Everybody have a great evening, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.